what they put in this, but it's so good, guys. Really cool track car. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Beamer Frame. You guys join us here with both of our BMW Grand Coupes. We have the 650X drive up top, and we have our modified, almost 800 horsepower, M6 Grand Coupe manual down low. So we're gonna be taking this car on a coffee run today. We have to stop up at Dixon Motorsport. We have a few things to check out on the car, which we wanna make sure everything's okay. But on the way, we're gonna grab a coffee and get some nice POV driving for you guys to enjoy. This car is getting further and further away from stock. So we have a full GT Haas, Meisterschaft, catback exhaust with catless downpipes from BRSF, a stage two tune from Alpine Motorsport, this nice carbon fiber spoiler, and now we have the 20 inch Rohana RFX 11 finished in bronze, which I think is a really nice contrast with the black. So let's go ahead and hop inside and down the road. back on the road and this car is already cold so we got to warm it up before we can get it going i just gotta say the cockpit of this car never gets old you have all this carbon fiber not to mention the led steering wheel all this carbon fiber and performance trim right here uh, you got the six speed manual carbon fiber on the on the center dash trim also drilled aluminum from bang and olfsen uh, carbon fiber all along the door, door panel you can really see it from this side as well and then on the headliner, we have leather and Alcantara. So you also get a cup holder. You get one single cup holder inside this thing. So it's got everything you need. Four seats, you can see in the back seat. Let's see if we can get a little bit of sound under this underpass. Ooh. the bangs on this car man it's, it's much louder than my m4 and the m4 is super loud man we got some rain man. this is some weird weather blue skies but it's raining that for you guys is michigan in a nutshell mm, that sounds good <laughs> This car is a blast. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Guys, this car has so much horsepower. <laughs> You can see the traction control cuts in, it's so cold out. That was maybe 40% power, but you can see it kicked in towards the end of the acceleration. We're gonna see if we can uh, kind of get out of that dicey power range to kind of just see how fast this thing revs. And full throttle. Yeah, I mean, you can see the lights just <laughs> flicker. <laughs> the back windows down should get extra oh my god more sound the turbos listen to that wow wow oh, the roads in michigan are awful oh my god so the coffee place that we're heading to is bear claw we actually took the m4 there over a year ago a few times and it's definitely my favorite coffee place in ann arbor uh so we're gonna go ahead and pull up there in a few minutes get some coffee and then get on the road so this ladies and gentlemen is bear claw my favorite coffee place in ann arbor we're gonna go ahead and get the chai tea they have the best chai tea i've ever tasted hey there hey uh, can I have a, a small chai? Uh, cold, please. You got it. 
And can I can I actually have a shot of espresso in it? Sure cool. Thank you. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. There you go, then. Appreciate you. Have a great day. You too. Oh yeah. So I don't know what they put in this, but it's so good, guys. Like if you're in the Ann Arbor area, you got you gotta have their chai. If you like chai tea, it's kind of sugary, but it's really good. But you can see the cup holder works really well so and then when you open her up you've got this you got three pedals all this power This has got to be my favorite M car, man. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Definitely faster than my M4. That is for sure. I hate to admit it to my dad, but his car is faster. At least at the top end. I mean, he's got the extra two cylinders. <laughs> Almost double the power. Turn signals work as well. though in the cockpit that's something even though this car is basically as loud as could possibly get it has the full exhaust system catalyst down pipes um, it is still fairly refined on the interior you don't really notice that extra bit of sound when you know you get up to the top rpms maybe above five and a half thousand rpms where you really get to hear it get super loud in buildings and tunnels then you hear that sound but you can tell how good a bmw did a good job it just making the interior refined you know especially it being a six series um my m4 is far less refined than this car so there's probably a lot more insulation and engineering to just keep the cockpit kind of calm and kind of tamed a bit especially compared to my f82 so now we're about to pull up at dixon motorsport guys join us up here at Dixon Motorsport. You can see they have a nice selection of M cars out front. First of all, a really cool track car. Looks like maybe Interlagos Blue on this E46 M3. A lot of downforce being put on the front splitter. Sparko bucket racing seats. It's essentially a track build. So you got a very aggressive spoiler on the car as well. Probably has an exhaust system on it too. But then you can see a completely bone stock E46 M3 in the same configuration, same color competition wheels looks really good it's kind of cool to see them next to each other one super aggressive one completely stock which one are you guys take and right here a really cool x5m as well carbon fiber front splitter blue seems to be the color of the day on the m cars up here at dixon and over here is a nice e92 m3 comp wheels and as you can hear what is this hail you hear that dude it is now hailing wow i mean look at this Oh my god, this looks like a mineral white E92 M3, a few old schools, E60 wagon, oh my god, look at it hailing, I don't know if you guys can see that, I know you can hear it, but you got a nice E30 wagon, and an E34 5 series, E30 as well, so, well, you can see some of the hail, 
coming down on me. I'm sure you can. Little balls of hail. Oh, this ain't cool, man. I mean, come on. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are little balls of hail <laughs> dropping on the paint. I know you can hear it, but um, hopefully this doesn't last long. So we pretty much came up here to get a few things tightened up. The Rogue Engineering uh, short shift kit that we put into this car. It sounds like the ball in it was broken. So we're gonna have to get a new ball, a new bracket order for that uh, because the shifter is a bit loose and it's kind of hard to put it into reverse. So it's not ideal, um, but we're gonna have that overnighted. Oh my God. Bro, this is not cool. Just look at all this hail coming down. And then now that we put the new wheels on, the car needs an alignment. So it's you know steering a little bit to the right, just a little bit. Um, the, the tires are mounted in balance. They come like that from Fitment Industries, but we're still gonna have to get this car aligned. It's recommended for you guys who don't know, it's recommended to get an alignment after you put on new wheels anyways. We're gonna have to drop the exhaust and get that uh, short, short shift kit fixed. And then we're also gonna do the alignment as well. We might even swap the oil on top of that. For now, let's get back on the road, head back to the house. Clutch in, neutral up, fire it up. This is crazy. Look at the conditions. We're gonna go ahead and get a couple pops going. Conditions are just too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and stop today's video here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check us out on Instagram at Beaver Fan. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.